You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And I'm Rob, and you're listening to episode number 397. Thank you so much for joining us. It is really cool that you're hanging with us. We appreciate it. We do. Today's episode is brought to you by the members of Drone U, but also a very special announcement, Rob. Really? Yeah. Well, this is an announcement to me as well, so I'm very excited. There's buns in the oven. Huh? Do you get it? I, yeah, I'm but kidding. coming Ha-ha, from you. <laughs> gotcha, buddy. No, no, <laughs> well, no. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> no, no. We're throwing a 107 class in California. That's it true. It should be up on the website within, what, like 24 hours? It Soon. It's Don't r- quote me. Soon. Well, so this is to, yeah, it's actually today's podcast. Sometimes we record these in advance is the reason I said that. But yeah, this is today's podcast, so it should be up by the end of the day. It's ready. We're just finalizing the locale. That's why we haven't put it up yet. Gotcha, gotcha. Which we're running into an issue because of originally they're like, hey, we're going to plan this whole thing at Canyon Lake. We've got the lake, blah, Which blah, blah. Which we were blah. stoked about. But then they're like, oh, there's algae blooming. And, and we're this is from California. California. So we're not going to touch we it. We don't want to hurt the algae. Oh, no. <laughs> I have no idea what that's oh, about. Oh, no. I can't even call. I mean, my pool gets algae and I kill it. So I don't really understand. In Arizona, Lake Powell, like they've got algae right now. Uh, Havasu does. Parker does. I mean, like the whole stretch of the Colorado River Basin does. Yeah. And it's not stopping anyone from water sports. I don't understand. Maybe there's some bigger picture that I don't understand. I get that. Um, If you can explain it to me why it's important, please do. It's for the algae, Robert. Is it like because of the the minnows or the baby froggies? I have no idea. The, you are asking the wrong person. Seahorses. I'm like, kill the algae. Let's go boating. <laughs> <laughs> well, please help us understand. But my hunch is that you guys don't understand either. So, <laughs> Our hunch is your hunch that our hunch is right. <laughs> yeah. But if you're going to be in uh, Southern California, the end of August. The August da- we do know the date. It's oh, the 25th. Yeah. 25th. So 25th is the 107 class. So this is like a dual thing, right? That's the hope. If we can find a stretch of water that we can do, we we think we'll figure it out. Well, I well we've got a pretty cool backup plan. So I'm not going to well, mention the backup plan, but I like our backup plan. I would call that a backup idea, as oh. opposed to a plan. Well, we've got the equipment to make the idea happen. So. <laughs> true, but it's not a plan yet. This is true. It's an idea, but it, it's a great idea. It'll be fun. So, so anyway, to in. explain what we're talking about, we're going to do a whole day class, literally like ten hours of 107 studying. We're all going to get together. We're going to go over this 107 material. It's going to be in the LA area. If you are a Drone U member, you get a sweet discount on this whole thing. If you are not a Drone U member, it's well, like half price, by the way. So we do not fault you for joining Drone U to get the discount. We're not going to give people a yeah, hard time about that. No, not at all. So, so it's like it's going to be three ninety seven if you're not a member, one ninety seven if you are. To study for the one hundred seven with a bunch of other people that will be asking questions, giving you perspective, and I'm going to have a cell phone jammer so no one can be distracted, including <laughs> me. <laughs> Which is the most important. <laughs> Let me tell you. I'm sure you guys have seen him on his cell phone and podcast uh, here and there. Oh, yeah, everywhere. Oh, man. <laughs> I used to have one of those little dashboard clips for my phone. It was a, mag- it was a magnet, though, that like was I built into the car. I remember that into your uh, vent. Yeah. Yeah. Which are, those are pretty cool, actually. They were 150 bucks too, and I broke it. Really? Yep. I don't know if that's a good idea, you having that in your car. Well, the car is going to get replaced soon. Yeah? So, yeah, it needs to happen. F-150? I don't know. I hope so. That's the dream. We'll yeah. see if the dream is the reality. So I bet you'll make it happen. I think so, too. Anyways. Anyways, let's get to today's question. So, again, thank you to the DroneU members. If you want to go to the 107 class, go to thedroneu.com. Find the class. Just search 107. And you by the way, find I'm it. sorry to interrupt you, but we'll also be publishing it on the uh, Facebook page, public Facebook page. So. Facebook.com slash yeah. DroneU. Yeah. Can Which we maybe even put it on Instagram? It's ridiculous what I, I don't know about social media. I think we can. Hey, you know, you want to know something? We hit 40,000 followers on Instagram. Yeah, we're actually almost to 41,000. Did you also know we hit a quarter of a million downloads? I did not. Oh, on the podcast? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. For the year is what you're saying. Correct. Yeah. YTD. Yep. Year to date. That's absolutely right. Thank you, guys. It is so awesome. We are so humbled. We are. And guys, we love answering your questions. This This is our structure. This is our fun part of our day. Keep them coming. And a very special thank you to today's question. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. 
Hi, Paul and Rob. My name is Tim. I live in Victoria, British Columbia, and I'm just really enjoying the show. And I have a question about first person viewing. I have a, I currently use my LG G4 phone to do the um, control of the copter um, or viewing of the copter when it's in the air. I'm using the DJI 4K. And I'm just really happy with the, the filming. But to improve my uh, framing and, uh, and understanding what I'm actually seeing on these bright, sunny days, I was wondering if perhaps I could, you know, if you had seen something to, uh, to slot my LG G4 in front of my eyes. I do currently use a spotter when I'm flying, so they can actually watch the copter live. But I was just thinking it might be a, a better option if I had the, uh, the glasses sort of first person viewing experience. Uh, well, your thoughts on that would be greatly appreciated. And thanks very much for taking the time. Cheers from Tim all the way up in Vancouver Island. Cheers, Tim. Thank you for the question. Um, again, we love British Columbia. It's such a, a cool part of the world. And if you have a question, by the way, just need to throw this out, askdroneu.com, get those questions in, and we'll get to yours just as soon as we possibly can. We really appreciate every single one of them. We do. So what do you have to say for Tim? Because I think I heard a couple of things. Um, one was it was an issue of sun, and he was trying to get it closer. It, it was a little bit difficult to decipher exactly what his ultimate goal was. Well, I think his ultimate goal is to see it more clearly, but how he wanted to get there. I almost heard, like, is there some sort of apparatus that you put on your head? I can put the phone right in front of my eyes. Or can I have a feed going from the phone to FPV goggles? You're thinking maybe a better, even simpler solution. Well, so here's the thing. Um, in order to really utilize FPV goggles with that Phantom, he's going to have to replace the back part of his remote, which is, I think, only like 50 to 100 bucks. Is it complex to do? Two screws, plug and play. Okay. Very, very, very simple. Um, here's the thing, though. When you put your screen up to your face, you have no controls. So it's like you're setting everything and forgetting it, which is good. But now with all the new controls that we have with DJI, that's becoming more and more difficult, like mm -hmm. you know, setting the exposure setting, your focus setting, um, if you're flying bigger birds and whatnot. Um, but also with the Z3, which who knows, maybe that'll be on a, a Phantom next year. You know, sure. that, that has zoom control. Well, um, and you like to use the app to actually get your aerial shots. Yeah, I like I mean, to use the video. app to articulate the camera at times. Right, it exactly. is fun to play with that and get some cool shots and get some really nice smooth stuff. Um, so I, you know, if... So he's got a Phantom, but we are going to also assume that one day he's going to upgrade into another bird. Because one thing that you should be constantly thinking about as a drone pilot is, can I utilize this accessory in the future? Right. And that's something I never really thought of, but... I think about it all the time now. Sure. So especially when I'm spending my own money, you know what I mean? So um, <laughs> that was a joke. Anyway, <laughs> um, one thing that I really do love is Hoodman has the Aviator HAV1. Hoodman is not a sponsor of this podcast, but you should be. Um, anyway, but I do really love this product, and they're probably going to really enjoy this. Shout out. But uh, what I like about this Hoodman is that there are two sections. This is the lower section. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see what I'm talking about. If you're listening on Air, on iTunes, on Stitcher, check us out on YouTube. You can see it. Uh, I stick this to my iPad. Uh, and there's actually another section to this that doubles the length. So uh, I can utilize this hood on my iPad to give me you know, better vision like he's going for, like you would get in head play goggles, which is another option for him. Yeah. The problem with the head play goggles is that you don't have the functionality of the app. So you're just putting on the head plays. Yes, it's right up to your eyes. Yes, you absolutely need a spotter when you're using goggles like that. Otherwise, right. number one, it's just playing negligent. And number two, it's kind of like you're asking for an accident to happen. Sure. So, and I mean, like even uh, like even me this right. weekend, right, in Dallas, um, I was trying to see how fast I could get the Phantom 4 to go. <laughs> and I almost railed it into a tree, like literally two Two no feet way. over the tree. Yeah. Oh, How I'm, did that happen? Why? Well, because I'm I'm uh, so you were so I'm focused pushing, on the app. Yeah, I'm okay. pushing forward on the the pitch stick in sport mode as much as I can oh while That's decreasing my Texas. elevation. Exactly. <laughs> Not used to that. We're from right. New Mexico, exactly. so I'm used to like you know the vegetation <laughs> being three feet high max. Yeah. You know? <laughs> right. Not twenty five. Sagebrush. <laughs> which I'm allergic to. Uh, anyway, that's the funny part. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm coming in for a dive, and I'm just like, I just want to see how fast I can get this puppy to go. And, um, and all how fast it'll stop? 
Oh, I know how fast it'll stop. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, I'm uh, just coming in. I'm like, oh, wait, that ground looks like it's coming up real fast. And I look and the bird dropped below the horizon line. And I'm like, oh, it's so like kill the pitch increase. I mean, it was like I felt like I was in top gun because I was like, whoop, on all my controls, you know, just like reverse them. So you have that video feed that might actually be kind of interesting to see that all happen on video. Um, yeah, I actually do have that. That's funny. Yeah. Um, but, uh, anyway, it can happen to the best of us is my point is like, you know, you for a split second, just forget your spatial awareness and you can have an accident. So when you're using head plays, goggles, when you're doing really intense FPV movements, you've got to have a visual observer. And, you know, with the new part 107 drone law that's coming out, it's not required, but it's recommended, and right. we recommend it as well. So that being said, uh, Hoodman makes this great hood for the iPad, so he can get really close to his face, mm-hmm. eliminate a lot of the reflection on the iPad screen. But the other great thing about the Hoodman, and you can see, again, if you're watching on YouTube, I can put my hand through the bottom of the hood mm-hmm. and still articulate the controls. So I don't have to stick my hand all the way in, you know, 12 inches of right. plastic, you know, um, I can just put my fingers right in there, control what I want to control, get my cinematic motion. And here's the thing with the Phantom, he doesn't have the same articulation with the camera via the app that you have on the Inspire. Okay. But if he were to ever upgrade, he can still use this Hoodman Aviator H. A V one. Right. Cool. So, so, and by the way, if you're seeing this on YouTube, you, you don't, he doesn't have the extension on this. So did you already mention that it'll, uh, it'll yes. actually come out another, I just couldn't find it eight inches or something. So when you're actually flying and you've got your controller, it's going to be not going to leave much space between so, yeah, you if, and if, the, if you have your controller, normally you're like right here again, if you're watching on YouTube, you know what I mean? I'm about, eh arm's length, you know, I've got my arms, yeah, arm's mm-hmm. length out. But as soon as I add another one, now the view is like right up to my face. I've only got three to four inches or the distance from the microphone pad to the microphone itself. Right. So not much space. So it's going to significantly block any of the glare that you're dealing with. Yes. Um, but this would be the only valid point to that one question that we got when we were like, when that guy was like, how do you, how do you stop the neck pain? from oh, looking yeah. down so much. <laughs> I remember that from a long time ago. <laughs> like this, is that what he was talking about? I don't remember, but I will say Use this, a spotter this and keep adds your eye significant on the weight to your, uh, to your, what is it, your remote, so you better start hitting the gym and doing those wrist exercises. That's right. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so again, we, brought, we don't know about anything where you could kind of plant your phone into some apparatus as far as we know nothing like that really exists i guess somebody could create it pretty easily i think it does exist i mean why not use hell why not use google cardboard or something like that just without the lenses you know yeah so i mean you could you could jerry rig anything up i mean sure i know macgyver over here has got some ideas in his head but uh, (laughs) well they're swirling we don't have time (laughs) but anyway i hope that answers your question and if you have a question go to askadroneu.com and upload that question we would love to play it we would love to send you some swag we've got some uh, new swag actually being created for drone you yeah, right and now. guys, we know there are a lot about a lot of you out there waiting for it. Thank you for being patient. We want to add this stuff into your swag bag, so it's all full of DJI stuff right now, and we need to put some more drone use stuff in there. Yeah. It's going to be significant though, so patience is a virtue. Yes, it is. I'm going to leave you with that today. Wow. On that note, I'm Rob, and I'm Paul, and you're listening to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. Patience, 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 patience. <laughs>